Breathe fire on their asses. That's what they deserve. Hello once again, everybody. This is Authentic Epic Boom, and no news is surprising to me anymore. Not really. Um, there's stuff that gives me a huh and, you know, aha moment, but uh, let me know how you feel about this. I just feel like our kids are the future, and the way we are a product of our parents and sometimes the way we are raised reflects when we become an adult. It does. And for these kids that have to go through this, it's ridiculous. It's like, can kids grow up in a normal home so they can, you know what I'm saying, have like, I don't know, a chance at life, a normal life. Listen to this story. Parents allegedly raised kids in apartments smeared with feces. And you see that. You see the walls? Look closely. Look at that damn house. The rat-infested Bronx apartment where a five-year-old boy was left home alone. Their parents need their asses whooped. I would be locked into the jail in an orange suit. How do you leave a five-year-old anywhere in a disgusting, feces-smeared home where there's rats? Ooh, that's too much. Feces-stained walls, heaps of garbage, and uh, swarms of rats are the squalor conditions two Bronx parents allegedly raised their four children in. You have... You had to do everything you could not to throw up, a police source said of the Pertrude uh, King Bridge uh, Avenue apartments where the couple's five-year-old son was found along amongst the filth Friday. The crying tot was rescued by a horrified FedEx delivery man who came by to get a signature on a package. Once he got a glimpse of this repulsive pad where... Charlotte Lewis, 48, and husband Wolford Lewis, 59, lived. He ran to get the nearest authority, police sources said. Thank God for him. Thank God for heroes like him. Okay? A mom is a nurse. Man, she's actually a nurse at a medical center? Wow. Huh. The people that are helping you get better. This is a person that's leaving her son to his self at five years old like he's old enough to do for himself he's old enough to stay at home you leave him in a nasty disgusting horrible putrid place like that on top of rats that could have bit him but she works Mate four to medical center she's a nurse at a medical center Okay, was arrested at work while dad, an injunction professor at TCI College of Technology and a T, uh, oh, and a TMA worker surrendered to the 50, 50, the 50th uh, precinct station house sources says. This is taking my breath away. These are people, he's a professor at a technology college. She is a nurse at a medical center. And her, mm, do y'all see where I'm going with this? The family of, um, let me see, I'm sorry, the family's other children, two girls, 12 and 13, and a 15 year old boy that's deaf, were in school at the time. That's the mother. Whew. I wouldn't leave him alone anymore. The boy's father tried to reassure cops after he was arrested for leaving the boy unsupervised according to the police sources he also claimed his son was self-sufficient how are you self-sufficient at five years old what kind of mind frame could you be going through to let him grow up in this nasty smeared feces infested swallowed nasty rat filled place him or these other kids teenagers or not and you want to ensure the place is never going to happen again why because you got caught that must have been the scariest thing for that kid. Poor child. The parents were charged with en endangering the welfare of a child and the failure to exercise control of a minor. Well, I'm glad that's, uh, that's one of the charges. The mother's Facebook profile picture paints a wildly different uh, story showing her smiling with her kids in front of the Rockefellers. A center Christmas tree with a border that reads, live, uh, laugh, love. The children appear happy, well-fed, and clean. One neighbor, however, has noticed the fitched, uh, 
conditions before. You can imagine a smell coming out of this place. A couple of times they would leave the door open and I would al always tell my boyfriend, oh, the house is kind of disgusting. Deanna uh, Storm 27 told the post. Hmm. Among the rubble, police found hundreds of black flies, maggots, bed bugs, and completely empty refrigerator, police sources said. The family has also been contacted by administrators for children's service multiple times, sources says. And that's what pisses me off too because, like I said, here is called DPSS, which is Department uh, of uh, Family and uh, Children. I'm sorry. It's Department of Social Services or Family and Children's Social Services. But no matter where it is and no matter what stories I've told you guys that's happened all over the place, it seems to be the same thing. They might get calls. And I'm not saying that they're not understaffed because a lot of times they are. But if you see something happening right in front of you, how could you leave? Or how could you not check out or leave a child in that situation? So many kids have been killed that could possibly be here if they were protected because the person, the social worker that's there could have took them out of the home right then and there. And they wouldn't have to be subjected to any more of that craziness and disgustingness. So on that note, that's the mom. Let's see if there's a picture of the dad here. I don't see no picture of him. Okay, well, I don't see no picture of him. But that's the mother. And this is whoa crazy. So breathe fire on the asses. That's what they deserve.